Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog, Kenjoy, and it's me, Kenji. Today, I'm gonna do a hands-on of the DJI Spark. DJI. This actually may be the smallest drone DJ I actually made. I'm just really really excited to try it guys. Let's just get into it. Look at this tiny thing. Drone mongil bikinan DJ ini emang keren abis. FYI, I called him Sparky. It's a pity I'm like DJI Mavic Pro. Its arms are not foldable. Kalau bisa dilipat kan jadi super kecil tuh. Bisa dibawa kemana-mana. Underneath the Spark logo, there's a micro SD card slot and a micro USB for charging. The front mounted camera is two axis gimbal for, or stabilizer and will be sang rekam full HD video. Not 4K, but full HD. Oh, two axis means it can rotate this and this. So the recorded video will be very stable. The drone is made to beginner friendly. Dia bisa terbang kalau di siuling doang. Um, gak secanggih itu juga sih. Press the power button twice to make this drone fly. And then you can use your palm gesture to control your drone. Just like a Jedi using the force. Gesture controlnya keren gila. Kamu bisa nerbangin ke kanan, kiri, atas, bawah, or send him away a few meters back. The cool thing is after you send him away, Sparky will track you and follow you wherever you're going. The other fun gesture is the selfie gesture, which somehow I failed to perform so many times. You can call Sparky back home with this gesture. And when you're done, just put your hand under it, and it will land slowly on your hand. Nice! The other best feature in Sparky is Quick Shot. I'm using Rocket Option which makes Sparky launch vertically while recording. Love it! But as it gets too far, scares me. So I put Sparky down. Takut hilang! After a few days trying this drone, I still got many problems with it. First, the gesture is weak. I don't know if the one I have here is a faulty product or not. Cause I made three attempts with this drone. First attempt, I tried the gesture mode without connecting it to a phone. I tried to send away the drone with the waving gesture, but it failed so many times. And by the time I know it, the drone udah mendarat karena kehabisan baterai. Second attempt. I tried to connect the drone with the Samsung S7 Edge, but the drone didn't even recognize my palm at all. And somehow, the recording keeps on stopping. Third attempt. I tried to connect the drone with the iPhone 7 Plus and the gesture was a success. But I still had problems with the selfie gesture. Oh, and the GPS is also always on and off and on and off. So it's kind of making me afraid to fly it too far away. Second problem, the battery. It only lasts for 15 minutes and that's not enough 
for a beginner to try all its features for the first time. And the battery juga suka overheat. Jadi kalau badai terbang ini gak bisa langsung di charge. So the charging time will take ages. What I like about this drone is, the gesture is great. If it works properly. And guys, did you see my selfie? That's awesome! I think selfie using a drone is the future. Oh, the quick shot feature is definitely the best one. Well, there are plenty more options, but I picked the rocket one instead. The tracking mode is also good. I can imagine vlogging with a drone shooting me from up high. So here's what I thought about the DJI Spark. The price is still too expensive for a selfie drone. The battery is too short and takes a while to charge it. So I suggest buy the Flymark combo set. But it means you have to spend extra money, which in the end makes this a really expensive drone. So it's still not worth it for me. But if you are still eager and have the extra money, I suggest buy the Flymark combo set because it's got many extra bonus with it. There you go guys, my hands out of the DJI Spark, the small drone with many features that I love. Thanks for watching, please subscribe if you haven't and thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you like this video. Kenji, out. Sparky.